Hello, good day. I'm Oliver from Photo Hobby. Finally, I come to this UD RC. So for this I will, that's the uh, company of the UD. So it's weekend and I finally got time to come here to show you this crane truck. So it is six axle, four axle driver, so 12 by eight and all axle steering. Now the arm, it is already assembled for upgrade because this one it is proto machine number three. Come to here, you will see that's the number two proto machine number one already all disassembled. So here have all the parts, everything ready for 50 total. This crane truck to assemble all parts ready, only making polishing and uh, get painted. We'll start assemble for production one. So now is doing the final upgrade for the. Um, because this one, that's a single cylinder pin system for pushing out the arm. That's the most complicated models in the world now you can find. So that's the main arm, 5 plus 1. And uh, inside this system, it is highly classified because that's the factory pattern. Because now nobody else knows how this hydraulic system is working. So in the future, after you buy this one, I will explain details inside how the hydraulic, the plug and the pin, how to lock the arm, how to lock on the, the piston, how is it moving to push all out the five section arm at the front and it can stop in the middle at any position. So for each arm, initial position and the final position two hole for lock the, lock the pin. But in the middle, you can stop it at any time. It is secured with the arm with the pin to the piston. So here, that's unpainted, just ready parts. So it is all alloy, very strong structure. It is tested by factory with a heavy load. Here, that's the counterweight block. So standard washing, all painted. And uh, you can see with the four big one, four small one, that's all total together standard. So around uh, 39 kg. Uh, oh, sorry, 34 kg. And it is with the hydraulic system for lifting by the crane to load it to the counterweight at the rear side. So it is all simulated to real machine to be automatically controlled by all the truck. You don't have to lift up by your hand. So for factory suggestion standard, that's enough for safety. So because if you put too much counterweight here and you load it too much heavy load on the arm, you may damage the truck, also you may hurt yourself, maybe also hurt your friend nearby. So standard, that's enough for safety. Thank you for your understanding. And here, that's the chassis. All steel, strong plate, welding, and uh, with downside for suspension, that's CNC alloy. So all this is very heavy and strong with this rotation seat. CNC alloy, you see the thickness. So all this strong structure to support the counterweight 34 kg, the truck weight around 49 kg. So totally together, it's around 85 kg for the net weight. Not counting you loading like 20 kg, 30 kg. All together, imagine how poor this one it is. So I turn around the chassis, you will see all six axles. So four axles for driver, the front, Second, no help, drive, no power. Uh, the third one, number four, number five, number six, again, no help, power. So all have steering, so you see all the connecting road, all steering with uh, servo strong power to secure to the chassis. And uh, that's the part, I open the door to show you inside. And this one, that's the steel hook. You see that's roller, totally five piece. So imagine you have 10 kg on the wire, you will have uh, 110 kg lifting power. So it is powered 11 times. Okay, see so here, that's the main part of the truck. So all CNC cabin and uh, the shell cover. So other parts, it is all steel. And the chassis you see there, this cabin here for operation crane. And it is uh, elevation with hydraulic control cylinder on the there. One separate oil channel up and down. When you lifting, you will can see on the top angle. 
That's the rotation motor and gearbox and uh, strong this steel gear and uh, the big rotation gear on there. Here that's all the electronics is all disassembled for upgrading the arm. This one, uh, another thing is the sensor I will show you. So for extension out the arm, how the pins are locked and unlocked, how to find the position. That's the smart position. This part have six major program point. How long is this arm cylinder going? Have six point. So this six point, when the lens it is at the position, it is calculated the program exactly at the whole position and at the rear side to lock and the front side to lock. Six position, they will exactly lock and unlock it. So here that's the main board for controlling three EIC. It's all combined board. So one ESC for rotation, one ESC for the main winch, and another ESC for the auxiliary winch. This one, it is simulating real machine one. So when you are driving without loading, the, the crane, the cylinder is disconnected from the arm. So this one, the rope is holding the cylinder at the angle for transportation. The truck drive freely. So here, that's the pump. That's only one pump, yeah. So it's all mixed control for every hydraulic function. And uh, uh, the pressure gauge, it is seen from here, and the pressure release valve also from top. So here, that's the uh, oil channel for lifting up the weight block after the connection to the rear side of the crane to lift up and the turning rotation to, in, to be in position. And this side from here. That's the well block for upper part. So seven oil block, one big one for the main arm, others for all the hydraulic functions, smaller one. And here the door open. All this part, that's the oil tank from here to here because it's a huge cylinder, as you can see the size. So that one ensure when locking to the arm, have enough power so you can lift up and have Normally, when you are driving for real machine, you are not allowed with heavy load and the extension, but still can do. This one still can do, not allowed, but have the function. But safety first, don't load in too much heavy and sliding the arm forward. Only first extension the arm in position, then lift up the heavy load. So normally this one it is lift up by the main arm, not by man, yeah. Sorry, I have to find the hole, align it. So, normal operation, it is first like this. The arm for the leg, first stage will be out, second stage later. So first stage, the arm out, also rear out, leg start, support, and the arm, you first lifting all this standing leg plate to be put in position to four, then you start the rotation and the lift up the weight block from the trailer and put here and the rotation. So after the block lift put in position, first lift up this connection bar by hydraulic lift up. So this one can turn in, in position and then the pin will be at this hook and then drop this arm to lock in the hook and then manually secure downside the pin. Then this wet block it is secured to the right, uh, rear side. Then you can rotation and uh, then pack back the legs and uh, extension second level and uh, then standing the leg more outside for balancing can start normal operation. All axle for steering, now shifting back to drive mode Steering mode number one, so all front axle start from here, it's turning less and less. This one is for high speed. Second mode, rear drive, only a rear side steering, so can turn in and the rear side to side away. Another mode. So now that's the smallest turning angle, front turning one side, rear turning other side number four so 
or turn it one side, you can move side away like a grab. The huge cylinders that we are painting. Continue, let's go. I will control to see all the parts here. All this one for the chassis are waiting for polishing, then we are painting, then we are continue for assemble. show you all the situation about the factory and uh, the basic functioning of this one and uh, after a few weeks they will finish the upgrade on this proto machine number three and we will start assembling for the production one i will come back again show you more details of the real operation and the final version of all the functions it will be final decided so it will be all assembled and tested again I will show you again and uh, we will start production in your one. And uh, at the end of June, I believe I can supply you new machine. Thank you. See you.